This morning, a brush fire in Amador County has shown no signs of slowing down, forcing uh, emergency crews to order evacuations. Now, this is called the Electra Fire, and we haven't got updated numbers this morning, but at last check, it was close to 1,000 acres. Let's get to Fox 40's Aton Wallace joining us from the front lines with how fire conditions are looking right now, and it is so smoky there behind you, Aton. It really is smoky. And let me tell you what we're having here, May and Richard, on Canyon View Drive, just about 25 miles, excuse me, 25 minutes east of Highway 49 and just south of Jackson. When well, you're taking a look at here, look at these flames down here. This is uh, a back burn. These firefighters here are actually setting fires purposely in order to prevent further fires. Why? Well, because as you look up the hill there, yes, it's very smoky, but we actually have homes there. We have a, at least one home on the hill, so they're trying to um, protect that home. And, and the, what, the, how they're doing is that you hear kind of that pop in the background. They're kind of setting uh, flares, if you will, or these kind of incendiary devices that are going down the hill here and then exploding down the hill and actually causing these flames to then come back up the hill and stop these fuels, if you will, from being able to actually have a natural fire that could potentially reach those homes. So they're trying to protect the homes. That's the long story short there. Now, the electric fire, about 959 acres at last check. That was as of yesterday evening. No report of containment. Fire crews saying dry fuels and steep terrain are causing the flames to spread rapidly. About 100 people stuck in a PG&E building on Electro Road. That is where the fire started. Well, they were evacuated from the region safely Monday night. The group was taken to the powerhouse by a deputy after the fire broke out near the area of Box Beach, and they were unable to leave that area at first as they got surrounded by flames, but the good news is they were able to leave in time. Evacuation orders are in effect for several areas, including Amador Lake, Fig Tree Lane, Ponderosa Way, and Clinton Road. In addition, uh, around 13,000 people or so in the region are without power at the request of CAL FIRE. Now, want to show you some video here amid all this destruction. Well, here's some good news. Look at this. A little bit of a positive here. Within the last hour or so, crews up here rescued these two Weimaraners. Um, they definitely appeared scared, but the good news is they are physically okay. Look at how they, they say that um, these two dogs are actually following some of these crews around the property here. The dogs clearly didn't have anywhere to go. And so, yes, those dogs here were rescued. Look, even one of them was a little bit scared. It had to be picked up by one of the firefighters and put, put in the back of the truck. And we're told they are doing okay this hour. So that is some good news there and some good visuals and we're coming back here live you can see these firefighters here just getting ready here and carefully monitoring these backfires here that they are again purposely setting in order to basically well fight fire with fire and so that is exactly what we are having here this morning as these crews try to get the upper hand here on the electrifier and i'm going to leave you here on exactly right there that firefighter throwing that device down there and that is going to start some flammables down there as they are trying to fight this fire with fire reporting here in amador county aton wallace fox 40 news aton what a fantastic right? up close perspective that we don't get to see and you said it fighting fire with fire and then the firefighters picking up that dog and carrying him to safely hey, safety i also gotta ask it doesn't look i mean you're on the top of the ridge there what are the roads like up there mm. Oh, great question. You know, in fact, these roads down here, well, many of these roads are actually dirt roads, and we're talking very skinny roads, Richard and May, and mm -hmm. yes, the roads have official names, but let me tell you, just getting up here, just off Highway 49, yes, some of the closer to, get to Highway 49 you get, we have some paved roads, but then up here where these homes are, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely yeah. dirt roads and very skinny roads, so very difficult to access for these firefighters. Aton, great perspective this morning and a little bit nice of good reporting. news with those dogs. Thank you. Aton, thank you.